15, and Rich is at 120. And as you saw, they were only one pin apart in the roll-off scores. All right, two games in one going on here on Candlepin Skins. Traditional Candlepin scoring for total pinfall for two games, and also the skin scoring. And that's where it becomes a little bit more interesting than standard Candlepin bowling format. So if you're not familiar with the rules, here they are on Candlepin Skins. Our four bowlers compete individually, and they roll just one box at a time. Very difficult format to compete in. The high score in each box wins the skin or the dollar value that's been assigned to that box. If the high score is tied with two or more bowlers in a particular box, then the dollar value rolls over to the next box and the jackpot increases, making it ever more interesting. Of course, the top two bowlers in total pinfall return week to week. That's what Tim Susie and Mike Morgan have been doing to come back again today. Now, our first three boxes in each game are worth $20. The next three are worth $25. Boxes 7, 8, and 9 in our two games are worth $30 each, and the 10th box in each game worth $75. So that sets it up for you here on Candlepin Skins. We'll see if Tim and Mike can keep it rolling along, but Ed and Rich are ready to challenge, and we'll be back for the first of our two games right after these messages. Don't go away. Candlepin Skins, ready to go for our first of two games. The final roll-off for this week's show held at Ryan Family Amusements in Falmouth down on the Cape, the Cape Cod region, and look at how close these scores were. Ed Massey at 634, the top finisher. Rich Hallberg gets second place and is here by virtue of the fact that he had the higher single game in the five-game roll-off. Rich Hallberg's high game was 138. In fact, he had two 138s. Don Santiago had a 136. So by virtue of that, Rich Hallberg is here. Don will have to wait for another time. Ed Panic fourth, and look at who's in fifth place, Mr. Murphy, Joanne Rosano. Wow. This is something we have not really uh, spent a lot of time talking about uh, this season, but both this show and the Sunday show, the, uh, the uh, single show, Stars and Strikes, are open bowling for men and women, and uh, bowling scratch, bowling on an equal playing field. And uh, Joanne Rosano finished fifth in the final roll-off uh, for today's show. Well, good job, Rosa uh, Joanne Rosano. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice to see some of the ladies make it. That close to a spare for Rich Hallberg. Well, Rich Hallberg has uh, all of a sudden become a regular here on uh, the winds of New England. As Ed Massey starts off with a spare, Rich Hallberg uh, won a singles match a couple of weeks ago on Sunday against Dan Broder before uh, losing to Steve Plant last weekend. So now here he is on Candlepin Skins. Mike Morgan and Tim Susie now taking their place on the line. Mike Morgan. We were joking with Mike after last week's show about the ball he threw last week that hit flush on the two pin and resulted in a strike. <laughs> He just did it again. He hit the two pin again. Didn't work this time, though. Well, if uh, Tim Susi can figure out this eight pin, we'll have a carryover. Well, he's got some nice wood to the right, too. If he misses it to the right, he's got a chance of making it. He's probably going to go right at it, though, and that's exactly what he does. So he has some options there. So we have a carryover in our first box. Mike Morgan takes nine, so two spares and two nines to get things rolling here. Glad you're with us here on Candlepin Skins. Don't forget, Stars and Strikes tomorrow at noon here on the Winds of New England. That'll be uh, semi-final time tomorrow on Stars and Strikes. Uh, Steve Plant, having beaten Rich Hallberg last week, will face number two seed Joe Tavernese tomorrow at noon. That's Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Great bowling action every Saturday and Sunday at noon here on the Winds. Good bid by Ed Massey to make it two in a row, but leaves the seven pin. And Rich Holbrook is going to shoot at the one, seven, nine, and ten. And not quite. Ed Massey making his first ever appearance here on TV 50. Ed from Randolph, Mass, works for Keystone Freight as a truck driver. He takes a 10, and Rich Hallberg has another nine box.
Tim Susi working on a spare. And he'll take eight with a chance at another. This is a $40 carryover skin, remember? The one that would have turned a little more. Might be enough to carry the six and ten. Wow, Mike Morgan missed the head pin again, and he's got a spare lead, the one-two. Let's see how this wood reacts. Oh, he got it. Two in a row for Tim. Will it be good enough to win a skin? Let's see. No, it won't. So right off the bat, both skins carry over into the third box, making it worth... You can do it, six, I know. $60. You got it. Rich Hallberg has the strike. I think Rich says that's high enough for right now. Let me throw a strike. Half Worcester for Ed Massey. Well, if neither Mike nor Tim throws a strike, then Rich will have that $60 skin. Eight box for Ed Massey, and here's the big bomb from Rich Hallberg. Not much doubt about that one. But will he win the skin? We'll know momentarily. Both Mike and Tim working on spares. Eight drop for Mike. And two full for Tim, just five. So give the $60 skin to Rich Hallberg. Chops the three off the five. Oh, he thought he had it covered. I thought he had it covered. Most of the people here watching did. And no, how about this shot? Not quite for Tim. Great effort, though. Mike has to settle for nine. Well, Tim has choices here. He can either use the wood or go straight at the ten pin. Why not? Oh. That's why. Oh. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happened on Tim's spare attempt. Yeah, he really wanted to split these two. It's, it's pretty difficult. Sometimes you get it come off the wall, but he came very close to stealing that spare. Ed Massey gets a break on a ball that was off target. Rich Hallberg now working on his strike. On lane three, and he misses the head pin, takes eight. Yeah, leaves himself the eight and the nine. Let's see if the wood settles down. Oh, Ed Massey, that bid for a spare leaves just the five. Well, this is gonna have to play the wood. Let's see if he can get it come off the wall. <laughs> oh, nothing happened. Just eight on the strike. 10 for Ed Massey. He's at 43 through four. Rich Hallberg takes nine. He's at 45 through four. Candlepin Skins brought to you in part by Tri-State Megabucks. And now with Mega Cash, choose your dream. Tri-State Megabucks. Tim Susi is high on the head pin. And Mike Morgan is nowhere near the head pin. Remember, a 10 leads for the skin right now. It's a $25 skin here in the fourth. Oh, great shot. That certainly was. He might have made that without the wood. We'll maybe get another peek at it. But in any event, a great shot by Tim Susie. Oh, how about it? Mike Morgan gets the spare. Wow. <laughs> Well, we were just about to give the skin to Tim Susie, and Mike Morgan gets a delayed spare. That was the shot by Tim Susie. Terrific shot. I had already given Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I had already given Tim the skin, and I had to uh, do a little racing there. <laughs> Rich Holberg gets a strike. Rich trying to win another one of those carryover skins. This one's worth $50 now. 
Ed Massey chops out just the three pin. Oh, that's a spare. Great comeback. Well, that was a strike ball for Ed Massey right really? there. It only counts as a spare. This was a strike for Rich Halber. Got a tip from the back on the 10 pin. Yeah, just as it was going into the, into the pit area, it kind of slapped that 10 pin from behind. So all the bowlers get marks up. Tom, I mean, Tom. Okay, okay, <laughs> once again, once a show, Mike Morgan will fill it. It's gotta be a strike here somewhere or else the skin will go to Rich Hallberg. Tim will give it a try. And not quite. $50 for Rich Hallberg. He's taken all the money so far. And Mike misfires. Tim for spare. Yes, on the deflection. Well, here we go, Dan. Tim Susi, four marks in the first five boxes. More of the same for him. He has been a front runner for the last four weeks, and he's off to a good start again as he racks up that spare on the 210 in the fifth box. He puts a spare up. Rich Hallberg has won all the skin money so far, but lots of time remaining, and we'll continue on Candlepin Skins after this timeout. We are back on the left, Ed Massey. On the right, Rich Hallberg. Ed will fire first. He's working on a spare. And he'll take six. Rich working on a strike. This is a $25 skin here in the sixth. For the spare, Ed? Yes. Two in a row for Ed, and that's third mark of the match for him. Oh, just sliding by. Only four, and that's a strike for Rich Hallberg. No, well, Rich was playing the high-risk shot on the yeah, inside. Played in the inside. And again, ooh, and he just gets the head pin for a five box. You see a lot of bowlers try to change their strategy and play the safer shot on the second ball usually, or the third ball. Here's a second spare in a row for Ed. After six drop on his spare in the fifth. Reverse that for the spare in the sixth, and leads for the skin. Here's the man that's leading the match right now, Tim Susi, working on a spare. Doesn't break up the split this time, takes six. Well, somebody needs to put a spare up to make the carryover, or create the carryover, unless Mike can throw a strike. Let's see if Tim can convert this. No, nope, missed the two pin. And it's a tough shot for Mike, too, with a sleeper in the back, the nine pin. And he's got it! Oh, creating the carryover. <laughs> well, Mike has marked all three times on lane three, but he is 0 for three on lane four. Now, this one he had to wait out, but it was worth waiting for. Yep, all the way across the left side wall, and then com finally comes back and nudges that nine pin. Take the money out of Ed's pocket. <laughs> and make this seventh box worth $55. Rich Hallberg. And uh, Ed gets a break, taking seven on his spare. And kick the seventh pin out. Leaves just a two, four, and six. Spare for Rich Hallberg. That's the third mark in a row for Rich Hallberg on lane four. And a spare for Ed Massey. Three in a row for Ed. Let's take a look at Rich's spare. Just splits the three and the five. Carries into the six and finally the ten. So it'll take a strike to win this skin. The score is very tight here. All four bowlers bunched together. Here's what Mike Morgan has done the last two weeks. Only Rich Hallberg has won money today so far. Well, we'll have a carryover. We know that already. Three, six, ten, and the four pin. Our yes. Pin. Nicely done by Mike Morgan. His first mark on lane four. Nothing doing for Tim Susie. 
So everybody will gain ground on Tim Susi in this seventh box. And the three spares will create a carryover. In fact, Mike Morgan has a chance. Actually, Mike or Ed could take the lead in the match, filling their spare. There's the spare for Mike. The uh, eighth box after the carryover, now worth $85. Ed Massey firing on a spare. And just missing the head pin. He'll take six. Now well, Rich Hallberg will have to make a shot, too. Yeah, he'll take six also, but a little more difficult than Ed's. Seven, four, seven, eight, and ten. Let's see. No, nope. missed the four pin. Ed takes an eight for an even 100 through eight. And Rich will take nine, 89. Well, skin's wide open. Just a nine up there. Tim Susi, nine drop. Mike Morgan now on a spare to try and take the lead in the match. Anything over five would do it. Look out, just two. Well, Tim's looking pretty good for the skin, depending on what that wood does in front of the 10 pin, and he's got it. And Tim has himself an $85 skin. And Mike Morgan just trying to bail out of this eighth box. Just five. Oh, instead of taking over the lead, he dropped to third. Yep. Because of the spare two and just five box. Tim Susi in the lead. Situation normal here. Yes. <laughs> Rich Hallberg. Pretty good looking first ball, but still has the triangle. Three, five, six left. And oh. Massey oh, has them all. His first strike. And maybe his first skin. Rich Hallberg has a spare. Ed Massey. First piece of wood went past the five pin and then a little helper came over. $30 skin in the ninth. It'll go to Ed Massey unless Mike or Tim can take it away. Wow, there's a strange leave. And they'll both have splits, but how about Mike Mike Morgan took out the two, four, six, and nine. <laughs> and that'll give that skin in the ninth frame to Ed Massey. No, he didn't take that many out. He only had three down. Tim Susie makes a fine spare. So Tim will remain in the lead for the match. Here's his spare. Just catches a piece of the wood and the three pin. Wood helps him with the four seven. Ball and the pin take the three six. First skin of the day for Ed Massey. Oh, and as a double for Ed. Wow. Maybe another one. $75 skin here in the 10th. And a spare for Rich Hallberg. So both bowlers will stay up there to fill marks. There's the double strike for Ed Massey. Well, Ed with a chance now to take the lead in total pinfall. This first ball, very critical. And he makes it a good one. It'll be eight. Possible 148 for Ed. Oh, just one on the fill for Rich. So he'll settle for a 117. And it'll be nine on the second strike. 147. 
for Ed Massey. Great finish. 100 after eight. Double strike boosts him all the way to 147. And yeah, he might make himself a little more money, too, if uh, neither Mike nor Tim can throw a strike. Tim Susie is going to have to mark again in order to keep the lead in the match. In fact, he's going to have to mark again probably with big fills on both. $75 skin up for grabs here in the 10th. Only Mike Morgan has not won a skin to this point. And Tim is full. Just five. five. Yep. Just five and that's fair. Which means he will not have the lead. And Mike Morgan chops out just the three. So Ed Massey is going to have another skin, a $75 skin here in the 10th. Plus he will have the lead in the match going into game two. Tim takes nine. And Mike takes seven. So as we look at the scores, Ed Massey in first place right now by 12 pins over Tim Susi. Rich Hallberg in third and Mike Morgan bringing up the rear in fourth with some work to do here. So say, stage is set for an interesting finish. Second game coming up here on Candlepin Skins after these words. Welcome back to Candlepin Skins. Here's the money winning so far after game one. Rich Hallberg leading, but not by much over Ed Massey, who got hot late with that double strike at the end of the first game. Tim Susi is also on the board, and uh, Mike Morgan yet to break through with any skins. And Mike is also running fourth in total pinfall after game one with his uh, five-week, or rather three-week streak on the line. Tim Susi has a five-week streak going. And he's in second place right now. Rich Hallberg opens game two. He'll have a spare leave. And, well, Rich might, or rather, Ed might be able to make something happen, too. We'll see. Rich has his. No problem there. The four, five, seven, eight. And no problem there, either. The one, two, nine. So two spares up early. This is a $20 skin. This is Ed Massey's shot. Made it cleanly. Candlepin Skins brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Always the real thing. Always Coca-Cola. And Mike Morgan. That close to a strike to take that skin money away. So it'll be a carryover. With spares up already on uh, already up on the board for Rich and Ed. Oh my, and Mike gets robbed. Nothing he could do about that. Oh, how about it? Oh, oh that my. is a shame. Tim gets the 10 pin and not the seven, and that leaves him scratching his head. He had two, four, seven. He split the two and the four, and why the seven pin didn't go, I don't know. And he got the two difficult pins, you would think, at the six, 10. So he takes a 10 box, two spares and two tens. Box number two will be worth $40. This is Ed Massey. Ed is marked in six of his last seven boxes, including a double strike. Five on the spare. Rich has seven on his. take a seven. Rich with a 10. Okay, we'll take a check of the scoreboard. 27, 22 for Rich and Ed. And uh, of course, your cumulative total is down the bottom of the screen. First game plus every box that's bold. Oh, a little 
still full there for Tim, but he got away with it, kicked out the six and 10, leaving just the four seven. No, oh, Mike Morgan, everything but the six pin. Two solid nine pin drops, had a tough piece of wood, the last box preventing him from getting the spare. We talked a little bit about Tim Susi uh, the last couple of weeks, Dan, as he marks in the second, may win himself a skin unless Mike covers this six pin. He does for the spare, creating another carryover. But Tim does not throw the ball particularly hard, which of course means the ball stays on the plate a little bit longer, which could be an advantage here at Pilgrim Lines, would you say? Right, and, and it also keeps the pins hanging around a little longer, too. Always an advantage. $60 skin now here in the third. Oh, spread eagle for Ed Massey. Rich Hallberg has a spare lead, but he's got to watch out for the yeah, if he cap of the wood. Yeah, if he splits those two, that wood might cost him. Well, he tried to go far right. Stay away from the splitting the six and the, and the nine. Good bid by Ed Massey on the spread eagle. Nine for Rich Hallberg. Ten for Ed Massey as he works out of a spread eagle very nicely. Let's see what he did on the second ball. He's right into the four pin. Left the two and the seven. Yeah, no break at all. He didn't really get any action after he kicked the four pin out of there. Mike and Tim now working on spares. Chance for Mike to make up some ground on the field here. No, not that way. Just three on the spare. And Tim Susi gets a break kicking the seven pin out. Tim converts this spare. He'll win himself the skin for $60. And he's got it. Tim just keeps rolling along. Nice out for Mike at nine box, but give the $60 skin to Tim Susi. He's up to $145 now. And gaining ground on Ed Massey in first place. As Ed rolls on lane four. Oh, he really bounced that one. Yeah, I dropped that one almost, uh, I probably just before the foul line. I was at the bounce on the lane. Oh, Rich Hallberg. Back with the strike ball. That's his third strike of the match. I have a feeling we're gonna have a pretty good battle for second anyway before this is all over maybe for first and second Ed waiting out this wood and it's going to settle right in front <laughs> of the six pin blocking the way give him nine and 41 through four take a look at that strike by Rich Hallberg picking on the one three pocket Rich will have himself another skin unless Mike or Tim can match the strike. Tim's working on a spare here. What else is new? Oh my, almost, dropping nine. And Mike can't break up the three, four. So give the skin to Rich Hallberg with that strike. and give another spare to Tim Susi. Just like a machine out there, Dan. That is nine marks in 14 boxes for Tim Susi today. Last week he had eight marks in the second game alone after only one in the first game. So we move to the fifth, a $25 box. And Rich Hallberg is working on a strike. Hoping for the double, and he's oh. got it! That's gonna change things around. He was in third place before that ball. He's liable to be leading after he gets up and bowls the sixth frame. Uh-oh. 
The only problem for Rich here is that he's going to have to wait a little while to roll that next ball because we've got a break coming up and he has to wait for Mike and Tim to throw, too. Ed Massey gets out of that predicament with an eight. Here's the double strike for Rich Hallberg. It's a matter of time whether the six pin was going to go. Actually, the two pin finally goes. Mike Morgan needs marks. And a nine drop. That's his third nine drop of this game. And Tim Susi drives through the middle. That's just four on his spare. And give another skin to Rich Hallberg with those two strikes in the fourth and the fifth. Could be a roll block here for Mike. Nope, nope. just drives the ball right straight through. He needed that spare. Well, we do have a battle going. Mike Morgan is in fourth and in the most dire straits at this point, but the other three bowlers are all bunched together. We will take a break. Rich Hallberg working on a double strike so he doesn't have the full effect. Uh, that total score at the bottom of the screen not really showing the full effect of that double strike yet. But you see Ed Massey at 196, Tim Susie at 205. Mike Morgan working on a spare, but with some work to do when we come back on Candlepin Skins. Well, Ed Massey was in first place after game one, but this is the way it can happen here on Candlepin Skins. You go four boxes without a mark, and a lot of things can change. He could be in uh, third at the end of this box. Big ball for Rich Hallberg. Oh, light hit, but he got away with it. Eight on his double strike. But a difficult four, eight left. Two pins you knock out if you have a half whisker to the left. Oh, how oh. about it? Yes, sir. Ed Massey with a great one. Oh! Oh, oh what a shot. Oh, you don't see it made that often, that way that we... often. How do we pick which one to show? I we'll know. show Ed's. All the way across for the 10 pin. It's stars next to both of those. Tim Susi, not working on a mark <laughs> for a change. Mike Morgan is though, and Mike needs to string them together now. Could take the skin if he throws a strike. Nope, and what's worse, you got a split. Possibilities with the wood, though. Meanwhile, three, five, six left for Tim. Yes. Already had the carryover with spares. Oh, Mike gets another one. Spares all the way across. You see some shot making right now. Take a look at Mike's. Seven, four on the left, six, ten on the right. Well, that will enable everybody to hold their position, at least for the moment, depending on the fills. Oh, oh. Rich Holberg has another strike. Wow, hello. Rich is serious about this, I think. <laughs> this is a carryover skin worth $55. Ed, for the spare, no, after a seven fill. And a nine. Rich Hallberg, three out of four strikes. No doubt about any of them either. Rich has 10 marks in 17 boxes. Nope. Tim Susi has 10 marks in 16 boxes. Mike Morgan on the spare, and wow, he was not looking for another split. Tim's got one too, but he's got favorable wood. Maybe. Oh, the most. By Mike. Give the skin to Rich Hallberg, another one, $55 worth. He's over 200 now. And it works for Tim Susie. 10 for Mike Morgan, and Mike is in serious danger now as he is 33 pins out of 
second place. Great battle going for first, second, and third, though. Plus, it'll be a little more than that because two bowlers that are ahead of them, Rich and Tim, both have marks. Rich now will fill a strike. First of two. No, oh, look out, another good ball. Ed will have an open frame, and he was running in third place. That's not what he wanted. Rich has another mark. That's five in a row. And Ed will have to settle for a 10. Rich Hallberg at 134 plus a ball in the eighth. He was 36 back in the third. And look at strike, strike, spear, strike, spear. I'll add up in a hurry. Yes, indeed. This is a $30 skin in the eighth. Spare up there right now for Rich Hallberg leading the way. Tim Susi pulled that ball a little bit. Just three on his spare. And Mike Morgan just cannot get the brakes to go where he wants. Continually pounds the head pin, but just a little full each time. Let's see. Oh, no, Mike just let that one get away turned away immediately. He's obviously shooting for the wood in front of the three pin. Nine for Tim Susie. Well, this is gonna put Rich Hallberg in the lead and in command right now. And as we check the board, 251 plus a ball for Rich Hallberg. The battle for second, 244 for Tim Susie, 232 for Ed Massey. Here's the hot man of the moment, though, right now. Rich oh, Hallberg. boy, that's going to go. Yes, that's going to go. Another strike. My, oh, my. For a spare, Ed Massey. That was an important mark because he trailed Tim Susie by 12 pins for second place. This is the strike by Rich Holberg. Just gets enough right on the red stripe or just below it. Enough momentum to carry that five pin for the strike on spare and continue his streak of marks. I don't think Rich is going to give him anybody any room to <laughs> take over first place. It looks like the battle is for second. Tim Susie knows that Ed Massey has already marked. By the way, we forgot to mention, but in all the excitement, Rich Hallberg did win that $30 skin back in the eighth. And we've got another $30 skin here in the ninth. And he leads for that one with a strike. In fact, he's already won it. That's right. So oh, we'll catch up. So give him 30 more. Well, Mike Morgan's streak is uh, going to end. That's for certain. Tim Susie has to sweat it out here, the final box. Well, eight pins on this bill for Ed will tie him with Tim. Oh, he's off to the right. And Just four. Yep. And he really needs another mark now. And it's not going to be easy. Rich Alburn on a strike. Oh, how about it? How about oh, it is yeah. right. He needed that mark just to give himself a chance. This will force Tim to have a mark in the 10. How big, we'll, we'll see in a second. Rich Holberg finally open after six box, six marks in a row. Four of them were strikes. He'll get a big round of applause, a 173 for Rich Holberg, 290 for two games. There's the big spare, though, by Ed Massey. And he'll stay up to fill it, and then Tim Susie will know what he needs to get. Oh, uh -oh. boy. Uh-oh. Ooh, he got a, actually got a break there. Wow, he, he was hit way to the right. Way down on the six pin, and he got five for 124 and a two, total of 261. So, so Tim does not need a spare. He needs eight pins, as you can see. Eight pins to overtake Ed. There it is. That's all. So it's Rich and Tim. He may get a strike here. <laughs> <laughs> Would have taken the final skin of the day had he gotten it. Well, spare is up by Ed already for the final skin. 
And he needs this to have the carryover, give everyone another ch chance at that last skin. There it is. That keeps everybody in it for the final $75 skin. Oh, yes, Mike Morgan showing a great shot in the 10th. It'll be a little too late in terms of total pinfall, but he can make great shots, and how about this one? <laughs> Cut it too fine, and it kicked off the sidewall for him. So all four bowlers eligible for the last skin for the first extra box. Oh, I take it, take it back. This is the fill on the spare first. It's Tim and Mike fill their 10th boxes. Tim with six, Mike with five. And that gives us our final totals that we'll take a look at here. Rich Hallberg at 290 finishes first. Tim Susie will be back for his sixth week with a 270. Ed Massey just missing at 261. And Mike Morgan bringing up the rear at 231. the hot bowler he's gonna have the triangle to shoot at two four five for the spare yeah. yes and that'll put Ed out of it let's take a look Rich Hallberg converting the triangle a little help from the wood in the back so that leaves Ed out of the money and Mike and Tim will try and stay in it here or win it Mike has not won a skin today. He does have eight marks, though. You'll need another one here to stay alive. It's not going to be an easy one. Nor is this one. <clears throat> Tim Susie stole the last skin last week with a strike in the first extra box. Not today, though. No for Mike, and we'll see if Tim can keep it going. Otherwise, Rich Hallberg will add to his winnings. And he gave it a run, but not quite. So the last skin of the day and the second game dominated by Rich Hallberg as he throws a 173 second game to win the overall pinfall battle. And he also takes home $350 in skins prize money. Big day for Rich Hallberg. We'll be back to wrap it up on Candlepin Skins after these words. Welcome back to Candlepin Skins. Folks here applauding in appreciation of a terrific match. Rich Hallberg. Very hot in game two, six marks in a row. Four of them were strikes, including a double for a total of 290 to win the total pinfall battle. He had a 173 second game. Tim Susie threw back-to-back -back 135s for his 270. Ed Massey just missing by nine pins in third place. Mike Morgan's streak ends at three weeks in a row, but Tim Susie will move on to his sixth week in a row next week. Rich Hallberg, the big skins money winner with all those strikes, as you can well imagine, in the second game. $350. Tim and Ed getting on the board. Mike made his money the last two weeks, uh, primarily, but uh, Tim Susie just too tough. He's uh, finally finished second for the first time, but he'll be back for his sixth week uh, next Saturday. Yeah, two 135s, real steady, and uh, the hot bowl today, as you said, was rich, and uh, there was no stopping him that second game. All right, don't forget, semifinal match on Candlepin Stars and Strikes. That comes up tomorrow at noon here on the Winds of New England. Next Saturday at noon, of course, we're back here for Candlepin Skins. Until then, for Dan Murphy and the whole crew, I'm Doug Brown. Thanks for being with us.